Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna work on setting up an arbor near our outdoor fireplace. It's actually in an effort to save the climbing iceberg roses that are back here and very established. So please do ignore the drip tubing that will soon be covered with mulch, but it's actually better to get this project done before because these are the stepping stones that we are probably still gonna just use underneath the arbor, but they actually don't go in straight to the pathway over here. I don't know what's going on, but they kind of like curve and then end on the right hand side. I also don't remember planting that tulip right there. So right behind the fireplace here, there's a bunch of white roses that were here when we moved in, minus the tranquility that I put right here because one had died and so I replaced it with that. I could not figure out what was going on with these roses and why they were growing so crazy until the day that I was cleaning out this flower bed and I found one of those metal tags, you know, that they connect to the bottom of the rose and it said iceberg, but before it, it had the word CL, which means climbing iceberg. So I don't know if at one point the, there was some sort of structure back here that these roses could climb on. Um, and I'm pretty sure just only four of them are climbers and the rest are actual shrub type, um, but they're beautiful. They've got the most beautiful blooms and icebergs do so well in our area that we have that gothic arch arbor from uh, in front of our cut flower garden it's from gardener supply we got it last year and we thought this might be the ideal location to set it up and let those icebergs just do their thing and have somewhere to climb that way we don't have to remove them it is a six foot wide arbor so it's gonna probably be right in here and then right in here which means I'm gonna probably dig this iceberg out which looks like I don't know, it's smaller than all the rest of them. And then we're gonna probably take this dogwood, it's a Venus dogwood, we'll save it, we'll plant it on the other property out front, but it never does well here. It gets just nailed by the sprinkler and gets hard water spots. And it's just been kind of sitting there, just semi-struggling and I kind of want to give it a different spot anyway. Also right to the left here, you can hear our new fountain running. I still haven't fixed the splatter problem, but I'm working on it. And look at all the hellebores. It is just such a beautiful, beautiful area. I love it so much. I was excited to work in this area today. And I think by putting an arch here, especially one that's the length of this flower bed, it'll really give it a secret kind of, I don't know, magical feel, especially once it's covered in roses. So we've got all the pieces and parts here to the arbor in the back of the gator. I'm not really sure how this thing's going to come together at all, um, but here are all the screws and such. I've really just got to lay stuff out, I think, and figure this thing out. Aaron's actually inside working on finishing up our recap video for this week. So he's going to come join me as soon as he's done. Uh, but I'm going to try to tackle whatever I can tackle here. helping bud it's got to feel good to be out here bare feet it's a nice day yeah, such a nice day um so these look enormous <laughs> i'm not well, really sure we just want to use two and we could use this one somewhere else yeah possibly like use all three together but they look really wide and maybe it's just because they're sitting out on the grass but i think it'll still be perfect because if if they line up properly mm -hmm. i still think it'll be well we just give it a shot i think we should put it in place and see what you think i just don't want this yeah. to get Benjamin. Uh. <laughs> uh. There. That's perfect. That's perfect. Great job. 
Okay, so the legs are kind of splayed out a little bit. <laughs> but um, what we need to do, Erin, is the next one actually comes up here because that's where I attach the connectors. Uh -huh. um, it is going to go out into the lawn a little bit, but I can just cut grass out to match. Or we could just do two. I is don't know. Bad? I kind of like a long tunnel. Well, I don't know. I guess let's get the tree dug up. That needs to go anyway. And he's, it's not happy here. Oh, I can do it, Aaron. I don't mind. Unless you want to. Oh, I want to. If any tree is not going to survive, it's going to be this one. <laughs> What don't do you, you don't you remember the root ball being way bigger? It was like one of those super big, heavy 20 gallon trees. Maybe that's why it wasn't doing well. Something's eating, it, eating its roots. <laughs> Maybe. Crop failure. <laughs> Crop, that's exactly right. Bingo. I think it's too big. It's just, it's too wide for this spot. This is a three foot walkway. I was really hopeful that it would just like tuck in real, real uh, like easily. And it looks wonky because I only hand tightened the little bolts right there. Um, when you get it on its stakes, because it does come with, um, these are what you slide it down on. So there's one for each leg and you pound that into the ground and slide the thing down. And then I would tighten up all of the um, bolts there so then it would be a nice shape. We probably have a picture from last year of what it was like yeah. in the vegetable yeah, garden. It's a beautiful arbor. That's why it kind of bums me out. But here's the problem. Like one, it's way too wide. And two, the third arbor falls right in the middle of this iceberg. And we can't move it over because the whole point is to like start having things be more centered right. than they are now. Because I mean, clearly we're just dealing with a lot of like walkways that do this. And it, there's just a whole bunch of just random randomness. We didn't put those down, did we? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so our efforts to save the iceberg climbers over here may not have worked. We're just gonna leave them though for now um, because I'll just prune on them and I can use the roses for um, arrangements and things like that. Here's the other uh, issue. I don't really want to have this massive arbor, like it would work here. And I think the icebergs get so thick that they would really make it a tighter, you'd almost need with icebergs a six foot wide mm -hmm. arbor because they're so big. But when we put in the, gr the greenhouse, I want to redesign this whole area and I want to design it around the greenhouse, not around a massive arbor that's kind of sticking out into the grass. Cause I would have to cut out like a foot of grass here on the left side of it um, so it's just not jive in and then I decided like I wondered if I should even show this project but I think that it's valuable in that this kind of thing happens and while Aaron's like well you could have just measured <laughs> I'm just not that kind of person I like to see things I'm so visual that a measurement on the ground hardly ever translates for me like I have to see it like prove it <laughs> you know I have to like I have to prove it to myself that the arbor doesn't work so thankfully it was super easy I mean it was out here for like an hour so I probably wasted an hour and a half of my day which is not that bad um, and we will take this apart and just have it in its nice little stacks and then when we do have a spot which we could use this Aaron on the new property like along any pathway yeah. Yeah. I mean we'll have ample opportunity out on the new property to use it and we will go replant this dog in fact we'll go do that here in a second I'll show you where I'm gonna put it and the rows that we dug out, we're just gonna give away to one of our friends. So anyway, the two plants that did come out of the ground will be replanted. So anyway, well, let's take this apart. You wanna help me with that? <laughs> and um, then I'll go replant this tree. Back to square one here, kind of. There's a few benefits that I can see even though the project's gone awry. First off, the dogwood will be removed hopefully to somewhere where it's happier and not getting just nailed by sprinkler water. There was just no way around it. In order to get this kind of swoop over here, the sprinkler has to come this distance with how they're positioned at the moment. Um, the second benefit, we will go ahead and lift all the pavers now that this whole pathway has been cleared. And while we'll still probably use the same ones, we'll mulch the whole area so it'll all be nice and all these drip lines will be covered and then we'll set them down again. We'll just relay them so that they are 
at least centered with the pathway. And the third benefit is that I now know how to put that arbor together because I wasn't the one who did it the first time and I didn't take it down either this last fall. So now when we decide where we wanna put it, I will know how to do it and it'll go a lot faster than it did this time for me. So that's always kind of nice. Um, I'm gonna go grab my starter fertilizer and my compost and we're gonna go find a new location for our dogwood. We need some fertilizer and some compost, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's our fertilizer. I'll get that. What? I think the tree's gonna be okay. Are you gonna hold on to it? So it doesn't fall out of the gator? That's a great, great job, baby. I like your tattoo. What is your tattoo of? Truck? Mm -hmm. Nice. Race car? Oh no, motorcycle. That's a race car. You got a hold of some good ones this time, huh? They're melting. Oh, they're starting to come off. Bummer. All right, Benjamin, where should we plant it? I think thinking over here. What do you think? Yes? No, the high tunnels. Oh, the high tunnels. Yep, that's where we're heading. All right, so I'm trying to decide where to put this tree, which honestly, like, we can plunk it pretty much anywhere, except we've just started to determine where our pathways are going to be which this line that looks like a pathway is actually not a pathway that's from some ranch panels being drug across but the pathway is going to kind of come out and swing around that pine out there and then kind of come along this little trio of red buds back there and then back to me right here so i'm thinking somewhere gatorish like right where the gator is kind of i'm thinking that might be a good location I parked right on the location. Of course I did. <laughs> it is a little bit overwhelming uh, to decide where to plant things out here because you know that everything is just still sitting here in containers because we've been trying to determine our pathways and all of that business, but I think we're getting closer. And there is something freeing about just like plunking and planting, but I do want to still be smart with our tree placement because I don't want in you know, 10, 15, 20 years for us to think like, oh, for crying out loud, what are we thinking? We need to have Gary come take out a bunch of trees um, because you know we over planted and that sort of thing. We don't want to get in that sort of situation I think it'll take a lot of trees to get into to that sort of situation, but I just like the, our initial planting of trees, I want to make sure we kind of get them in the right-ish locations. Um, but I think that this will be a good spot for this tree, I think. All right, you think this is a good spot right here? Yeah. You gonna help me dig the hole? really good out here. I'm so excited. That kind of gives me energy and motivation to get the rest of these in the ground. Um, you might notice too on the bottom of this trunk, I think it was either buried too deep or the mulch had like kind of just washed up around the trunk of this tree or it settled or something because you can see the dark up to about right there and maybe that was another reason why the tree wasn't doing as well. So now it's buried to the proper depth, which is not something I normally do, so I don't know what in the world was going on. Anyway, I created a tiny bit of a well around this tree. I don't normally do that, but it's really hard to water deep out here without a drip system. Um, so once the drip system comes in, which won't be long, it'll be after we plant all of these trees, then um, I'll just kind of feather the soil back out. But that way I can kind of fill the well up and it'll give the uh, tree a deeper soak. So now I'm going to go grab our hose cart and I'm going to use one of the faucets that's buried under the ground. It's already proving handy. I love it. Our nearest hose is actually behind the high tunnel and it's not long enough to reach. Actually, it doesn't even reach this tree right here. So we've got the hose cart and this right here. Got the faucet that's buried. 
how is there already a spider web under here? Like, how do they find this place? Anyway, this just rotates up and that's how we're gonna water. Got it? Okay, pull it right out to the tree. Whoa! Oh, you got me all wet. Look at that. Okay, we're going to fill up this well. Okay guys, while I was out planting the dogwood, Paul came over and started to mulch the area that we were just at with the arbor and fix the pathway that looks so good. How's that for a before and after? Oh my word. It looks so good when there's a nice fresh layer of mulch and I know that the drip irrigation's all working really well. And that's the thing, so he's working this way. We like to run, like he ran all of this irrigation brand new this spring because it wasn't functioning very well last year and then we wanted to not mulch it for a couple of weeks let it run so we could see how the um, saturation and how the uh, uh, coverage was working uh, we didn't want to cover over it until we knew that everything was getting the water that it needed and that there were no leaks or anything like that so now that we know that it's all good we can come in with our layer of mulch and it's just such a different look and I just love it. And now these sweet little stepping stones line up center with our brick patio pathway area. And that is going to be it for today's video. Uh, certainly a different outcome than I expected when I started today's project. But you know what? That's just how it goes out here. Not everything works out or pans out the way we think it's going to, and that's okay. It's all a part of the process, and it's really, like sometimes Erin has to remind me, Laura, it's about the journey. It's not necessarily about the end goal because that's not the point of gardening. The point for us is that we love it, right? We love to be out here. We love the process and to see things grow and to see things develop, and that's what gives us our that's what gives me a charge, being out here. I just really love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And fingers crossed for that Venus dogwood. Everybody say a little prayer for that tree. We'll hope it survives. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye.